Hi, my name is Amanda Lentz, and the notable award-winning book that I chose is The Storyteller by Evan Turk, and he also does the illustrations in this book. So just a brief summary of the story. There's um, a kingdom called Morocco a long, long time ago, and it's on the edge of the Sahara Desert, so it's awfully hot, um, and there's a whole bunch of fountains within the kingdom that help quench the thirst of the townspeople. Every day they all gather around the fountains and they hear the storytellers tell them tales and that's what keeps the fountains full of water. Over time, the townspeople start to forget the importance of the storytelling to the fountains and they stop gathering around the fountains to hear the storytellers and eventually the fountains dry up. Well, one day a little boy is walking around trying to find water and he comes across this old man who decides to tell him a story. So the boy sits down with his cup in front of the old man and the old man starts his tale for him. Uh, he doesn't, he gets about a third of the way through and then he tells the young boy that he needs to come back tomorrow. When the little boy looks down at his cup, it's full of water, so he drinks it down. And of course he comes back the next day and the storyteller once again, um, uh, works on the, telling him the story and once again his cup fills up and he drinks the water down and the next day he returns again. This time the little boy takes a sip of his water and he puts the rest of it in the fountain. And at this point the storyteller has finished his story. So around this time, there's a nasty sandstorm that starts to head for this kingdom. And the young boy has an idea on how to stop it. So he tells the sandstorm, hey, can I tell you a story? And the sandstorm says, yes, sure. So um, as the little boy starts telling the sandstorm, sandstorm his story, a bunch of villagers gather around and their cups fill up with water. And they all return the next day. And once again, the little boy starts telling the story and the cups fill with water. By the third day, everyone starts putting their water back in the fountains and the young boy finishes his story. At this point, the fountains are abundant with water and when the sandstorm tries to attack, it's um, unable to do so because of the water in the fountains. So um, let's talk about the illustrations in this book. They're very bright, they're very vibrant. Um, they're a little too busy for me. I find that they sometimes draw away from the actual text in the story. Let me find a, a page that's just really, really busy. This, for example, turning the pages, you immediately, your eyes are immediately drawn to the pictures, and I feel like kids would especially be interested in what's going on with the illustrations. Um, so they would spend a lot of time looking through it and not necessarily paying attention to the text. But they are gorgeous. They're, um, there's great use of texture, of shapes. Um, everything uh, corresponds to the storyline, which is great. Um, and let's see. Um, this is age appropriate for probably about second to fifth grade. So I think what a good activity would be for the children to do is to make their own story. Um, sit down, write out a story that they can share with their class. Um, I think that that would be great showing the importance of storytelling. Um, so the theme of this book definitely centers around storytelling. And I think that's so important for young children to understand because we want to build a love of reading in them. We want them to um, broaden their horizons, to figure out the world around them. And the best way for them to do that is through reading. Um, and so I love that this story really puts an emphasis on how important it is to read um, there, the storyteller tells a story within this story and within that story, there's another story and it's really just building blocks showing you how important storytelling is, um, to everyone around you. All right. Thank you.